说到。Hello, you are watching Xinhua Live. Here we are in Beijing, capital of China. The China International Fair for Trade and Services has kicked off here in Beijing. And this year, the exhibition is of great significance, as it's the first economic and trade event held in China since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. And here, through our VR camera, you can see the exhibition is organized in a very large scale. And here we are at the national, the China National Convention Center, which serves as a comprehensive ex exhibition hall for the fair. And you can see the. Exhibition hall has been filled with audience, exhibitors, practitioners, merchants, and through this pad, I can see what you are watching. So this year, the 2020 China International Fair for Trade and Services has opened on Friday. And it provides a comprehensive platform for facilitating trade services, facilitating services trade through a, a various a various of platforms, forums, and and business negotiations. And here you are. You can experience the current situation of the. Exhibition through our VR camera. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Xinhua Live, and here we are in Beijing, capital of China. The 2020 China International Fair for Trade and Services has opened here on Friday. It's a very significant economic and trade event, which presents an opportunity to strengthen open cooperation in the service sector and. Invigorate global economic recovery. Here we are at the main exhibition hall of the of the trade fair. You can see through our VR camera that this comprehensive exhibition hall has been filled with exhibitors and a lot of brands from all over the world. I believe you can see a lot of big names which represents the leader of their industry. You can see Huawei and, and a lot of other uh, global and, China, and Chinese companies which represents their cutting edge technology at its major international event international trade event and this year the 2020 China international the international fair for trade in services has very special significance. This is the first major economic and trade event that was held both offline and online by China since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. As we all know, a lot of most of the world economies have been largely affected by the unexpected COVID-19 pandemic. And the global economy has 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 been facing a lot of a series of challenges caused by the pandemic. A lot of social and economic activities has been interrupted by the pandemic. So the the fair has a very 
special role in promoting services trade, both domestically and globally. Hello, you are watching Xinhua Live, and we are in Beijing, the China International Trade Fair. The, the China National Fair for Trade in Services has opened here in Beijing. And through our VR camera, you can see we are in the comprehensive exhibition hall in China National Convention Center. We all know the, the ser services sector and services trade is an important part for every economy in the world. And, and the most important thing is that the service sector has covered a, a, a various of industry industries and economic sectors, in, including, for example, finance, education, medical care services technology, telecommunication. And so you can see in this comprehensive exhibition hall that a, a lot of famous brands and global enterprises has, pre, has presented their, their cutting edge technologies or the, 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 the newest services on this platform to promote their businesses. International Fair for Trade in Services is one of China's three major major exhibitions platforms. Together, China Import and Export Fair and then the China International Import, which have yielded fruit results over past years. And here we have set up two VR cameras in the comprehensive exhibition hall of the China International Fair for Trade and Services. And through our VR camera, you can see the exhibition hall has been filled with audience. Many experts believe this, that the fair can act as an important gateway for high quality international services to enter the ever opening Chinese market and for China to promote its own competitive services brand names among customers worldwide. And I believe you can, you, you can find a lot of famous brands through our VR camera. This year, a total of 18,000 enterprises and institutions from nearly 150 countries and regions have, regist have registered to, to present their products here, and about 100,000 people have registered for the fair. So here you can see a lot of exhibitor exhibitors and audience has filled the Hall of Exhibition. And most overseas guests, exhibitor, exhibitors, and merchants will mainly attend online exhibitions, and all types of entities in China will mainly participate in offline exhibitions. And the most important thing is that this year the fair has a very special role in promoting 
global cooperation in services trade as the COVID-19 pandemic has hit most of the economies in the world and in the global economy international cooperation is facing a very a very serious challenges caused by the pandemic as we all have experienced that a lot of social and economic activities and services has been affected and interrupted by the so this only important not only important is not only important for China uh, which demonstrates China's confidence and determination to promote its capacity than how you know uphold economic globalization and strengthen international cooperation. Sector over a series of a series of important economic industries. And here we can see through our VR camera that, that the exhibition has covered sectors like like like, like finance, telecommunication, and AI technologies, big data technologies and medical services and so on. And the trade services is not only, is not only about uh, only tech or, 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 or finance, it's also including, it also includes a lot of uh, that we are familiar with, like culture, sports, and here we can see through the VR camera that a lot of area in the exhibition hall uh, is filled with equipment and things for Winter Olympics. As the, 20, as the 2022 Winter Olympics will be held in Beijing. So this year, sports sectors and sports entertainment is also a important part of the services trade and here we got a set of data that China is an important contributor to the growth of global trade and services according to statistics China's service exports have grown at an average annual rate of 9% in the past 15 years and 2.9% points higher than the global average. In the same period, China's service imports totaled 4.5 trillion US dollars, contributing quite 9% growth of global services imports. So services trade has not only not only important for global economy and China seen According to an another set of data in 2019, China's service imports and exports totaled 5.4 trillion yuan, ranking second, second in the world for the sixth consecutive year. Hello, you are watching Xinhua Live, and we are in Beijing, capital of China, in the international forum. 
need and service it. At the National Convention Center, which served as a comprehensive exhibition hall for the fair. And throughout the VR camera, you can see the exhibition is filled with audience and exhibitors. And this event is organized in a very large and this is the service trade fair very important and very unique as it's the trade event and online the outbreak of the COVID-19. So this year the trade the, the service of trade fair has played a, a special role in promoting services trade especially in a period in a period when the world was some economies deal with the influence caused by the pandemic. Experts and practitioners believe that China's accelerating development, development of services trade will provide a huge market and a series of important corporate corporation opportunities for economies global wide. information of this event and have an uh, overall glimpse of the exhibition. And later we'll cover a lot of new information and new technologies in this international fair in the coming five days. So follow us on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. See you next time.